Well, back on the cafe this morning is Martin Cooper, Managing Director of Harcourts Cooper & Co. Martin's been in the real estate business since 1983 and done pretty much everything, including property management and auctioneering as well. Welcome, Martin. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you again. Now, today we are talking about auctions. Why are so many properties going to auction? Well, it uh, wasn't that common years ago. You know, it'd be a distress sale, like a mortgagee sale, and people were thinking, oh, they're in trouble, you get a cheap deal. But now, I, I really think one of the reasons is, you know, with Trade Me, uh, people are auctioning things off on the Trade Me website. So sometimes people get something, they see how the process works, they get a good price for something that yeah. they didn't think was of high value. So we're just a bit more attuned to it. So people are more educated. Uh, plus with competition, auction is brilliant. You know, people can compete with each other. We're getting some great outcomes. It's transparent and people are now, they're familiar with it. So it's going very well. Mm -hmm. So is the auctions, you know, I know a lot of them take place in Auckland, but is that spreading, do you think, to the rest of the centres around New Zealand? Yeah, it's right across with our, we've got 180 offices right across New Zealand. They're right. all involved in auction business. So it's very, very commonplace yeah. right across the country. Okay, and something else I wanted to know while you're here, Martin, uh, you know, when it comes to auctions, do you have them on site at the house or do you go to the auctioneer's room? On site for me is the best. You're number one, we concentrate on your property. Some of our Harcourt's offices do successful in rooms and they like it that mm -hmm. way. But I prefer, if I'm auctioning your house, say in Grey Lynn, for example, mm -hmm. you're, you're number one. I don't want you being lot number 27. Yeah, and I Because if, if 25 and 26 don't go so well, people are, oh. I might get confused and forget which house I'm actually bidding on. <laughs> I'm, oh, I don't want that. Oh, so if I'm auctioning my house, I want people, or if I'm going to an auction, I want to be there to see what I'm buying, actually. Yeah. Like, have it right in front of me. Well, people say to you, I bought a house because it felt right. Mm. Yeah. So looking at a projected image on the screen, you don't get the feeling. Yeah. Being there is good. How important is it to have a good auctioneer? or how? I believe it's vitally important, you know, like selling your home is not a matter of life or death, but it's an important thing. You've got your money tied up, your asset. So if you're getting heart surgery, you want to check out your surgeon's success rate. Yes. You wouldn't want him to say, look, I'm keen, I do this part-time, I'm enthusiastic. <laughs> I'm getting that one because he's cheap. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Oh, I do a cheap deal. You would want, and the same with an auctioneer, you've got your largest asset in a lot of cases. Check out what are they like, how often are they doing it, what's the success rate? You've got to have a good auctioneer, they're part of your team. And, and so as a vendor selling your house, you can say to your real estate agent, I want you to provide me with a selection of auctioneers and you pick the best from there, is that how that works? Yeah, you, well in our, we've got a wide selection right. of good auctioneers. I'd recommend go and check them out. Right. Go and see them. Oh, go them. and see them in action. Yeah, yeah okay. so can I come to any auctions before I go to my, you know, my property auction? It also gets the seller familiar with the process because it's pretty, it can be stressful. Yeah. It's not, you're not selling your home every week. Absolutely. How many buyers should you look at having at your auction? Well, we want to have, Heaps, well, not obviously. hundreds, but the best solution is they're all on the front lawn of your house fighting for it. But if you've got a good auctioneer, good salespeople, you just need one to work with. Right. The more, so do a saturation campaign, market your home thoroughly. The more people you can get through the property, the more chance you've got people saying yes to it. Gather them all there and you get your best outcome with Should competition. Should you try and have extras in there as well? Like people like just your family and your friends just to make the crowd look bigger? Does that sort I, of fire people up? I think that, that helps. Get your friends and family there. The nosy neighbours, I always wander over if yeah. there's an auction on. Yeah, <laughs> I think you've got it. It's, if it's got a buzz and an atmosphere, it does lift the uh, enthusiasm. What if two days before the auction, there's been no interest? Can you pull the pin? Is that a wise thing to do or should you stick with it? I would stick with it. I've called over 1,500 auctions and even as an auctioneer, you get anxiety. You feel mm. what the sellers might be. You think, I haven't got anyone for this. So you, you want to scurry away and not, but crikey, I've called some auctions. You never know what's, what's going to happen. Yeah, you never okay, know when cool. someone's going to come around and go, oh, that's my house. Yeah. And I've had that happen. Like, nice. it surprised me. I had one guy wink at me, uh, and I thought, hey, what's <laughs> happening here? But he was bidding right at the end of the auction. We're able to place bids in on behalf of the seller so wow. we can get the process started. Mm -hmm. it's, it's quite well declared to the audience, to the bidders that are there. But, uh, so if you committed, just roll with it. Really appreciate yep. your advice. Thank you so much, Thank Martin. You. We're going to have to get you back because that is fantastic advice. Great to have you on the cafe. And I'll tell you what, how about you come back next week? Is that all right? Cool. Certainly.